There is a killer here. Living silently for perhaps months among the victims. This killer is not a person or an animal, but rather an endamoeba. While at least eight species of entamoeba can infect humans, only one can cause invasive disease. This protozoan parasite is known as entamoeba histolytica. Entamoeba histolytica is the cause of amebiasis, an infection of the intestines. If it invades the colon wall, it can cause ulcers, acute dysentery, or chronic diarrhea. It all starts when a person ingests the parasite's cysts. The cysts travel to the small intestine where they undergo existation. During this, a single cyst divides into eight trophozoites, the mobile form of the parasite. From here, the trophozoites travel to the colon to colonize. Now they undergo encystation, where more cysts are created. And finally, the cysts are excreted by the patient, perhaps several million cysts per day. The cycle begins again when another person ingests the cysts. 90% of those infected will not know it, will eliminate the parasite within a year, and show no symptoms as the parasite passes through, absorbing nutrients. However, some people will have a rather different experience. In these people, the disease will progress into amebiasis, with the invasion of the intestinal lining. The entamoeba histolytica secrete toxins that break down the intestinal protective mucus layer, counter the patient's defenses, and destroy the colonic intestinal barrier. The disease can spread outside of the intestines and into the bloodstream, where it may target the liver, causing amoebic liver abscess. The parasite can also spread to the brain, lungs, or the genitourinary tract. The World Health Organization estimates that 50 million people worldwide suffer from invasive amoebic infection each year. It is difficult to know for sure since, again, 90% of infected individuals are asymptomatic. With a fatality rate of 2% in adults and 26% in children, entamoeba histolytica is a threat more common to tropical areas with crowded conditions and poor sanitation. The incidence of amebiasis is higher in developing countries. Entamoeba infection is as high as 50% in parts of Central and South America, Africa, and Asia. In the U.S., disease is more prevalent among those who live in communal settings, as well as travelers to endemic areas. In one study, 10% of individuals returning with diarrhea were found to have amebiasis. Risk factors for severe amebiasis include alcoholism, cancer, malnutrition, older or younger age, pregnancy, those with compromised immune systems. Invasive amebiasis is also much more common in men than women. Amoebic liver abscess is 7 to 12 times more common in men. Currently, reason for the difference is unknown. Entamoeba histolytica can survive freezing and chlorination, and is spread through water and food. People can be infected through swimming pools and other water meant for recreation. The parasite can get into food if contaminated water is used for growing or rinsing fruits or vegetables. Food is also contaminated if handled by an infected person who didn't wash their hands well after a bowel movement. To avoid infection during travel to endemic areas, the following precautions should be followed. Amebiasis is the third leading cause of death due to parasitic disease globally. The invasive parasite causes up to 100,000 deaths per year. Today, it is unknown what triggers entamoeba histolytica to invade the intestinal walls of some people. Microbiologists think that perhaps they do this to create a more spacious environment in which to invade the intestine.